everybody. I'm doing a session for a client. I'm going to go ahead and read the goals here and get tuned in. We are going to be diving into another extraterrestrial race from ancient Earth. I just did a session a couple weeks ago where I was exploring the Nemnir race. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in checking it out. All right, so this time, <clears throat> I don't know if I'm pronouncing this correctly, but it looks like soft here. Sophir? S-O-F-F-H-I-R. All right, so it says, the goals are, Hi, Abby. Here we go again with another journey to visit another consciousness with, his with history on Earth from a long, long, long time ago. Can we connect with the Sophir race and see what they can share with us? Thank you. <laughs> this is going to be so cool. Okay. I'm going to relax and get tuned in. <clears throat> All right, soft here, race. Hmm. Right now, I'm just, there's a lot of information coming towards me, but I'm waiting. <sighs> Some of it just feels to me like, um, oh man, it's, I'm, it's making me feel a bit shaky right now. It's almost like the sound of lots of people marching. Um, there's really sharp like whip um, experiences that are ripping through what is the fabric of this energy space. So it's all this information. It's not um, deep enough vibrationally for me to want to go with it. So I'm just waiting. As I wait, I just start to feel a lot more shaky like overwhelmed, like even nervous and uncomfortable in my heart, okay? So I'm just going to wait. Something feels so angry, like ruthlessly, bitterly sharp and painful and angry, okay? Okay. So I'm just letting that energy clear out. <laughs> This is the pathway to the soft here race. <laughs> so I got to clear all this energy out so we can get to know them. What is this all about? I have no idea. All right, let's see what the next thing is. Okay, again, it's so tense. It's really uncomfortable, tight, really tight in the back of my neck, um, lower head. There's lots of screaming um, people just massacred screams like I mean it's sick it's really really disgusting like a massacre that would be so sick you couldn't even believe it <sighs> I'm just clearing out a lot of screaming um sounds anguish a lot of anguish I'm just continuing to let this clear because you can't really get to the bottom of what is going on here when you hear all this noise. So we just continue to let it share and we'll just release it until we can get to a point where it's calm. Again, it's really tight around my throat, like the particularly the back of my neck. It's very uncomfortable. It's shaky. It's full of anxiety, full of anguish. I mean, really hard on my heart. This doesn't hurt me, Abby, but I can feel the hurt that exists here. My soul can feel the hurt that exists here. So I experience that. I'm just transmuting it, okay? Okay, this is pretty dark. Um, it's like walking into thorns everywhere. There's really not nice beings. I don't know that this is the soft hair race or what happened to the soft hair race. But these not nice beings, they're, it's almost like they like to, there's a spiritual, even mystical type energy, and it's not 
like fairy realms or magical realms with dragons. It's extremely scientific even, but almost harnessing the energy of souls in pain and pulling that energy into to use it like a battery, okay? It reminds me of this. This isn't the first time I've seen this. I've seen this 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 exists, okay? I mean, I, I'm, I'm called to tell you that this exists on many different sides of itself. There's souls that knew about this in ancient times where they would choose to sacrifice themselves in order to set their spirit free so their spirit could be an angelic watcher of the spirit realm over the community. So there's souls that were doing this in love and light. And then some, in some cases, there was, there was sort of what you could call like a spiritual warfare. So then the, the anguish and the pain was harnessed and all that dark stuff became somehow used for dark purposes. Okay. So interesting because they just did a journey into soul fragments. You want to talk about soul fragments. <laughs> want to talk about transforming and rebirthing your soul. <laughs> That's one way to do it. I feel like this is what happened to the soft heroes. I'm still trying to get... Because I don't feel like they were... Um, like evil I don't feel any type of evil energy about them I feel like they're the ones in anguish and pain they're the ones that suffer great terror I mean it's just sick it's it's like on a level of sick like unbelievable it's almost like there was some kind of gross weapon that would turn you into a slushy I don't know how it would work with vibration and it would literally just turn you into a slushy and people were popping, like exploding, like like a slushy. There's your mom, slushy, right in front of your face. Like a blender, an energetic blender. <sighs> it's a tomb right now. It's an energetic tomb. I mean, no wonder you have a, a connection with th these beings because... You're the angelic inspiration that wants to set all these soul fragments free from all this pain. I'm telling you, any time your soul is ever fragmented in time, it will find a way to be set free in time, okay? So never be afraid of fragmenting because there's always angelic beings there to help all souls find their way back home. All the time, all the time, for all times, okay? Even within yourself is a light guiding you home. This is so long overdue. This is, it's almost like a history that wasn't, I don't know if there's, there's a history or something said about these beings, but this is, this story is not, if there is a story, I don't, I mean, I feel like, I feel like there's a lot of, how do I want to put this? not the right, um, justice. Um, I'm not finding the right words to define it. Like, I'm just going to pause for a minute because I'm, I'm just going to continue to transmute this energy. Everything's getting a lot softer, a lot quieter. It's still not fully resolved yet. These dark beings are still here, but it, I'm just going to wait for just a moment. It's all getting a lot more peaceful, a lot softer, a lot quieter. Bodies aren't blowing up and exploding everywhere. And even these darker beings feel like they too can be set free from their own part in the story. They, what they don't realize is when they harness these souls in anguish, they actually trap their own soul at the same time. So now the souls as a whole become collectively imprisoned in darkness, okay? And so everybody suffers. Nobody wins. Everybody loses. <laughs> I mean, everybody always wins, even when it appears like they're losing. You don't want to go through that dark stuff, but at the same time, it's part of the resurrection process.
Everything feels a lot more comfortable. I almost feel like this the soft hair race is going to speak to me now about this. It's not quite there yet. It's almost there. I don't know why, but I keep feeling like history hasn't expressed some type of truth or some type. There's something missing about the history or what we know about them. There's something missing. Like, that's what it feels like to me. The, this is difficult. The next thing that comes to me is about the blood of sacrifice. And all these souls were sacrificed. It doesn't feel like they consciously in the incarnate state chose for that in their minds. But their souls knew when they came into that experience what this was all going to be about. And their blood seems to have seeped into the planet here. And they're, they'll be remembered for all time. The blood of the soft here race. And it's part of our own blood. We actually contain the memories inside of our own bodies. And in a way we're still reliving um, the screaming terror and memory of these, these race of beings. Our earth remembers, therefore our bodies also remember. We're all connected. Don't think for a minute we aren't connected. <laughs> It's just, I feel like a mass grave that, that never received prayers, that never received a proper burial. I keep thinking of the movie Poltergeist and, and then building a whole series of houses on an old Indian graveyard kind of thing. Like, we have no idea the type of blood that was spilled and the way that that blood was spilled and the terror and anguish that these souls endured. I mean, it was intelligence. It was scientific intelligence. It wasn't magic, but it's a bit mystical, but it's because it's working with soul energy. But those souls that did it were wrong because they ended up imprisoning themselves and not even realizing it. And that energy still exists here on our planet. And it's almost like dark demonic in influence that's still encouraging souls to be bound and imprisoned by other souls. And for this memory to be played over and 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 over forever. Because the echo still exists. And when the echo still exists here on our planet, we are are aware of it even if we consciously don't have any freaking clue about it it's still a part of our blood it's still a part of our air it's still a part of our ground still a part of our earth it's in our memories the cool news is me going and visiting these beings it's helping transmute this memory inside all of us inside the whole human race that's why it's so important that we go to heal like the concentration camps and heal the haunted houses and to heal the old wars and battles, to heal all the dark energies, even the people that are suffering with dark influences, dark choices. They, a lot of these people know about their imbalance. They can't figure out how to stop it. We got to help people. We got to help our history heal. We have to work on healing this in order for this to all just be complete, you know? It's, we're getting close. We're getting close. There's a shift. We're wanting to heal. We're wanting to work with energy. We're, we're wanting to work and with energy, actually participate in it. It's like religion can sometimes inspire you to feel separated from having your own God power. That you have the power to make a difference with the love within your heart that isn't influenced by any evil spirit because it's freaking love. It's genuine. It's pure. It's I care. 
There's nothing evil about that. It's not harnessing soul energy. It's simply wanting to help mend hurt, wounded energy. I feel like it's all getting better. That's all I can say about that. I feel like... I feel like letting just what I've accomplished here today in this short session um, is perfect. And that there may even be more to learn and discover because I feel like this was ver a very loving race of beings. And that an event took place, an event that was divine, that is still playing out through the whole of our collective human race. The echoes and the memory still exist here. But we're transmuting it. And the more we, we turn into love, the more that we decide that, yes, our prayers do matter. Our prayers are powerful. Our angels are here to heal. And our angels are healing. We are the angels. We can heal. We can help these souls. That's how we transmute all this history. And we start fresh. And we start with new energy. A new experience. It's almost like the pain of labor, a mother giving birth. It's like the pain of our collective. We're still in the process of birthing ourselves. And that means the birth of a new expression of ourselves, of our collective. It's painful to work through that as a collective race. But we will get there. We will get through this. It takes patience, it takes love, it takes belief that love has power. Okay, thank you so much. That was so unique. I want to know more about this race of beings, but that's what I was called to do. And that's the, the history or the message I was called to share. And I feel that, I mean, I feel like pretty hot, like energetically really heated up. And I feel like I'm transmuting something inside myself and the echoes of this. I feel like just being a part, a participant in this experience is very healing for my own soul. So thank you all for joining in this experience with me. If any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. You can also find me on Patreon at abbynormalswisdomquest. I have two other YouTube channels, Abby Normal and Zodiac Energy Readings. Have a great day, everybody.